How's it going everybody? I'm Steve and welcome back. So a lot of you know that the Barnes & Noble 50% off uh, Criterion sale runs through December 2nd. I actually picked up uh, five new titles here. Uh, one of them I had seen, seen before like maybe 25 years ago and I, I liked it then and I liked it, you know, watching it again this time. But, but I'm really excited about this one. This is probably my last haul for the, uh, for the month of, of November because I already picked up like seven new titles this month and I picked up like four from the Criterion flash sale from last month. So let's see what I got here. Okay, so this first title is actually from 1985. It's uh, spine number 887. The movie is Lost in America. This one's uh, directed by Albert Brooks. He's obviously the star of the movie as well. It has uh, Julie Hackerty, if you've ever seen like Airplane, Airplane 2. She's in those movies. She's a lot of fun in this movie. Uh, this one, I, I, I enjoy this quite a bit. It's probably my second favorite from Albert Brooks uh, after uh, Defending Your Life. That's probably my favorite one. But uh, this one is a lot of fun. I love the, uh, the city that they finally, finally uh, end the movie on. A lot of fun. It's just a, it's a lot of crazy stuff happening in this movie, and uh, Howard Brooks uh, always makes me laugh. Okay, so the second title is actually from 1980. It's spine number 26, so it's a really, really early criterion. And the movie is uh, The Long Good Friday. It's uh, directed by John McKenzie. Like I said, I've never seen this movie before. You know, starring Bob Hoskins, obviously. Have you ever seen uh, Mona Lisa, or have you ever seen uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? He's in those movies. He's, he's really great in this movie. It's a, you know, like I say, it's a, like a British uh, gangster movie. It's a lot of fun. It, you know, co-starring uh, Helen Mirren. She's really great in this movie. <laughs> Talking about 44 years ago, amazing to see how young she was then. If you've ever seen like Excalibur, she's in that movie too. So she's pretty young in that movie as well. I think that, that one may have been just after this one. It has a, I couldn't believe it has a Paul Freeman. <laughs> if you ever seen the uh, Belloc from the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, he's a, you know, one of the bad guys in that movie. He, he's not not in the movie a lot, but it also has a uh, Pierce Brosnan. Couldn't believe that. Uh, <laughs> just uh, just amazing. He, he actually doesn't have any lines in the movie, but to, to see his face, I, I knew exactly who it was when I saw him. One thing I really loved about this, it had a, a featurette on the uh, the second disc, and it's uh, like 97 minutes, and it talks about handmade films, which is the, the studio that made this uh, made this movie. It, it's great. If you know George Harrison from the Beatles, started that film company basically just so he can produce uh, Life of Brian for Monty Python. He was such a, a huge fan of them. And uh, it talks about all the history. Basically, it shows like five of the, of the members of Monty Python, except for Graham Chapman. And it, it's great though. It just has so many famous like British stars and stuff in it. And I, I, I love watching that. It's probably that, other than the movie, that's probably my favorite bar, part of this, uh, this uh, collection here. So I, I enjoy this a lot. I love the, uh, the theme music to this movie too. The, the score is really great. Okay, so this uh, third title is actually from 1996, uh, Spine Number 1232. Uh, this one's from director Albert Brooks, and the movie is Mother. This one, I, this is the one I actually uh, saw back in the 90s, and I, it's, so it's been quite a while since I've seen it last, but I, I really enjoyed it back then. L I love watching this one again. Just, uh, you know, Albert Brooks is one of the stars, obviously. It has uh, Debbie Reynolds that uh, plays his, his mother in the movie. She's actually uh, Carrie Fisher's mother uh, in real life. Uh, you know, they, uh, unfortunately, they both uh, have passed away now, but also has Rob Morrow. If you ever saw the TV show Northern Exposure back in the 90s, uh, he was on that show. So this was a lot of fun. There's a lot of great humor in the movie. I think the third act is really great in this movie. Just, uh, just kind of the uh, conclusion to the story is really great. Just, just uh, kind of the psychology that they come up with uh, that really makes a lot of sense. And I remember why I really liked it back then. All right, so this uh, four titles actually from the year 2000. Uh, spine number 1219 and the movie is Girl Fight. This is one probably I, I like maybe the least out of this collection, I, I think, out, out of this haul. But uh, there's certain reasons why. It, it's a kind of indie film. It's uh, from a first time director, uh, Karen Kusama. And apparently she uh, directed movies like uh, Eon Flux and Jennifer's Body, which I've never seen either one of those movies. So let me know in the comments if I should check those out. I've heard decent things about mo both movies. Uh, this is actually the, the film debut from Michelle Rodriguez. I thought she was really good in this movie, considering the, the lack, lack, of, lack of a film experience. And actually, as, I think the actor I like the most in this movie is Jaime Torelli. Uh, he, he plays the, her uh, boxing coach in the movie. And actually, this has uh, Ray Santiago, which I, he's in, from the TV show Ash vs. Evil, Evil Dead. And I, I thought he was, he was decent. Uh, I knew, that, knew the guy. He didn't have the mustache. You know, he's much younger in this movie. But uh, I think that basically there's a lot of amateur boxing in this movie that... Uh, was was it was okay? I, I think uh, something like uh, years later on uh, Million Dollar Babies in, in 2004, thought they did a much better job. Maybe maybe this movie kind of inspired inspired uh, 
you know, Paul Haggis for, for you know, writing that movie, and, and I thought uh, Clint Eastwood did a better, better job in that boxing movie, but, but th this is interesting for what it is. I think it takes place in New York, so it, it's really interesting. There's a brief shot of the, of the Twin Towers uh, in downtown New York, so, which I love seeing that. It, it, like, if, if you blink, you'll kind of miss it, but I still, uh, after watching it the second time with, with commentary, I, I like this a little bit more. Okay, so this uh, fifth title is actually from 1979, spine number 1231. And the movie is real life. This one's a, another one from Albert Brooks. Like I said, I had one director I was going to collect in this one, and and I I, I did. And th this one's really interesting because it's a you know obviously starring Albert Brooks. It has a Charles Grodin. This is a kind of kind of strange because it, it may it may have influenced like the like reality TV. Uh, basically, uh, you know, Albert Brooks says he he uh, he inspired a mockumentary that using that 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 term mockumentary, which uh, they did like five years later in the. This is Spinal Tap, you know, in 1984. So it, it, really interesting. That, that a lot of the scenes don't really work together that well. This is actually the film debut from Albert Brooks. So you kind of tell where he didn't know, totally know what, what he was doing yet. And they had these, uh, these really strange uh, cameras that they used. <laughs> that's, that's one of the funniest uh, kind of gags they have throughout the movie, how they use these cameras. And so uh, that, that was a lot of fun. But uh, this one, I, I, I'll have to rewatch. You know, and I liked it a little bit more than Girl Fight, but it, it's just one that I... I it's gonna have to kind of grow on me. It's it's my least favorite out of the Albert Brooks films. Okay, everybody, I really appreciate you watching this video. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you plan on picking up uh, any of these movies. Uh, definitely, I, I I would definitely recommend the the Long Good Friday. You know, I Lost in America is really great. Mother's really good too. Um, check out those uh, those titles. Uh, please, uh, if you're not already uh, you know subscribed to my channel, please consider doing that. Please put a thumbs up on this video. And everybody, have a great one.